show your support. Follow me on Twitter. Hello, I am that British guy, and welcome to 2019. We did it, everyone. 2018 is in the rear view, and looking ahead to 2019. First of all, I want to say a huge thank you to anyone who has supported me in any way across Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, you name it. We've got a few more bits and pieces to come this year. Um, as I mentioned on my last podcast with Pokey Pidge, this year we'll see the beginning of my Twitch channel. It already exists, but there's nothing on it yet. That will be getting underway in a few months' time, hopefully in the new studio. It depends how long bits and pieces take with the house and things like that at the beginning of the year. If it looks like it's taking far too long for that to sort of start up there, I may start it here in uh, the old studio, as it will be known hopefully this year. But that is certainly something that I will be doing in the next few months. And that is going to be sort of focused more on newer games, uh, sort of live streaming, things like that. And kind of keeping it almost like a separate entity away from the main channel. So stay tuned for news regarding that nearer the time. Next Tuesday we will be starting up WrestleGamia 2 and I am still completely in your hands with this guys. There are two games that you can choose from for me to play. First of all we have the GameCube version of Legends of Wrestling or we have the PlayStation 3 game WWE 13. Now on the Legends of Wrestling game I will be sort of playing through the main story mode. Again, kind of splitting it up like I did with the other one. They're going to be sort of 30 to 45 minute uh, videos each week and we'll just play through week on week until we get to the end of the main story mode. However, with WWE 13 what I was planning on doing is creating a universe mode kind of centered around all the Attitude Era characters and again playing sort of a month as a week's worth of video again looking at sort of 30 to 45 minutes of gameplay so I'm completely in your hands there please let me know you can leave a comment on any of my videos or you can reach out to me on Facebook or Twitter with your vote now I will still be playing through old games as well on the channel and because of a birthday present that I got from my sister, big shout out to her, we will be adding another console onto that um, which will hopefully then feed into another old console and also because of a Christmas present from my girlfriend um, we've got another kind of new addition to the console family. And here I would like to introduce first the N64. And the Nintendo Switch. So obviously with both of those that opens up a huge avenue of possibilities. Both on this channel for old gaming and obviously on Twitch streaming as well with the new Switch. Now the other main staple of the channel is obviously the PlayStation Plus monthly reviews. And some of you may have already noticed that I never did a review for the game Soma on PlayStation 4 at the end of last year. Now there are sort of two reasons for this. One... Christmas and New Year really got in the way and I didn't really get too much time to be playing the game, record a review and upload that for you guys. But the other thing I noticed, especially this year, was I was playing through a lot of games on there that really weren't captivating me. They weren't gripping me in a way that I wanted them to. And because of that, I was putting out sort of very average sort of feelings towards them. They were okay games. Um, they killed a bit of time, but they were nothing particularly gripping. And therefore, they weren't overly positive videos. And I want to kind of make this year the year of positivity for myself and for everything that I'm doing on the channel as well. So what I will continue to do is downloading and trying those games out, but if it's nothing really to write home about, if it's 
just not engaging in any way and it's kind of a copy and paste of something we've seen a million times I will not be doing a review for them so any that you do see will kind of be hidden gems effectively and hopefully this is going to open me up to also looking back at the PlayStation 3 and Vita downloads each month as well. If anything is particularly gripping on any of the consoles, the PS3, the PS4 or the Vita, then I will be sharing it with you guys and if it's not particularly special then I will just be uploading some other content instead. Because especially sort of over the summer it was just kind of average game after average game nothing was particularly great to write home about so I don't really want to be sharing that with you guys but if it is a kind of hidden gem as I said then you will be the first to find out from me now there are a couple of other bits and pieces in the pipeline for the year one that I mentioned on the podcast with Pokey Pidge towards the end of last year and that will be kind of the revival of the very British Wrestling Federation and that will be coming very very soon and the other thing will be a kind of top secret project that I will let you know about later in the year needless to say I am very excited with that I have made a bit of a start towards the end of last year and with kind of the new structure that I'm hoping for with things on the channel that should open up some more opportunity to get a bit more recording and editing of that done so that I can get the whole thing finished and let you guys see it in full. So yes that is sort of what's coming up in the not too distant future on the channel. Thanks again for your continued support and I look forward to a happy, positive 2019 with all of you. Regular content will still be coming your way. And in a few months time, hopefully we'll get the Twitch up and running as well for some live streaming. And yeah, roll on 2019. I say it's going to be one hell of a year. So until next time, I have been that British guy and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.